This is the Seller Process Podcast, where we talk about the best systems, processes, and SOPs for your Amazon business so that you can regain control of your time, build up your team, and scale your e-com empire. Hello, entrepreneurs. If you are looking to take your listing quality to the next level and increase click-through rate by making unique main images that will stand out from the competition, then this episode is for you. Our guest today will share with us some of the most powerful strategies to improve your listing's main image and increase click-through rate. I'm joined today by Kamaljit Singh, the CEO and founder of AMZ One Step. Kamal is an official member of the Forbes Council, and he started selling on Amazon in 2015 with retail arbitrage and eventually built a private label brand that he sold in 2018. At AMZ One Step, Kamal and his team have created over 80,000 infographics for Amazon sellers. He's passionate about conversion optimization and branding on Amazon. Hey, hey, Kamal, how are you doing? Welcome back. Doing good, Marco. Super excited to be here once again and nice to meet you once again. Yes, yes, yes. Cool, cool. So if you guys have seen, uh, have uh, listened or watched the, our previous episode, um, Kamal, he was already here uh, maybe uh, six months or eight months ago in another episode uh, that was very insightful. So that's why, you know, we're back here to continue that conversation, but we're now going to focus on main images because uh, uh, Kamal has some very cool and powerful strategies uh, on how to optimize main images and make them stand out. So uh, I would say, you know, everybody already is familiar already with uh, you know the importance of uh, main images, right? So I think we don't need to go there um uh, because everybody understand that that's like one of the main uh elements of the listing that will increase click through rate but you do have a lot of you know uh uncommon i would say strategies that many people may have not er heard of and uh so that's what i want to talk with you about uh, you guys will find all of these strategies with a real life example uh, examples in uh, in the PDF that Kamal is sharing with us. You can find that PDF in the show notes at thesellerprocess.com or in the description of the YouTube video. Okay, so obviously it's kind of a very visual type of uh, topic. So I will try our best to describe it uh, because a lot of people will just uh, listen to to this, not uh, watch the YouTube video. So um, we'll do our best to to make it uh, uh, more descriptive. So, um, Kamal, uh, we let's let's start, you know, diving deep into these strategies. Uh, where are they? Let's start, you know, with the first one. I'll give it to you, you know, the the stage, and you're now free to <laughs> to discuss. Okay, sounds sounds good. And if you're listening to this podcast, you know, I would highly recommend, you know, maybe after you listen to the show, uh, go back and check that PDF that Marco has given you, uh, you know, that would pretty, then you can relate to what I'm speaking, you know, as he mentioned that it's pretty visual, um, you know, we at AMZ One Step, you know, we have, we have been creating Amazon Im images for like, you know, uh, past six years. And over the years, we have developed some strategies which can always break the pattern on Amazon because when someone is searching on Amazon, a keyword, um, the main image is the number one you know, responsible thing which can increase your click-through rate. There are like other factors like, uh, uh, you know, your reviews, your product title, the price point, the fulfillment method, whether it's prime or not prime, but the main image is the most important thing which can you know, make or break your game on Amazon, right? So as, a, as an Amazon seller, you have to understand, you know, uh, three different metrics. Uh, that's like your impressions, number two, you know, your sessions and the unit session percentage. And if you're looking to increase your impressions, you know, you know that, you know, you can do better SEO, you can run pay-per-click adver advertisement, or you can, you know, do ranking on, you know, uh, some of these, these keywords. And if you want those impressions to convert them into the sessions, uh, to the visitors, you have to work on only one thing, which is the CTR. And this could be the 80-20 rule, right? The 20% of efforts, which can bring you that 80% of results. So that's what main image is, which, you know, which 
uh, which is that powerful. And let's say, you know, now you have the session and how do you convert them into sale is the unit session percentage, which comes down to how good your images are, your videos, your A plus content. But in today's episode, we're just going to focus on the main images and the CTR. And uh, as I mentioned, you know, there are like five different factors, main image, product title, bullet, you know, um, price, reviews, Amazon badges is a big one, which is responsible for the CTR. And it is a proven fact that uh, the listings with more traffic make more sales. And the main image, you know, the most important uh, factor. So there are some basics that I'm going to cover first. And uh, these are the basics which everybody should know about. You know, your image should be pure white background. It should cover, you know, 80 five uh, percent of the of the main image itself and the image should be high quality it should be unique angle it should be amazon compliant you know no logos no badges uh these are the basics that you should know but in this podcast we're not going to talk about the basics today we're going to talk about some of the advanced strategies which are working really really well and when it comes to the main image marco like even the top agencies or top freelancers top Amazon sellers, they struggle to make their main image stand out because, because Amazon terms of services, they're so tough. There's nothing you can do. It's only the product photo on white background. But how do you make that main image stand out? That That's what we're going to discuss. And let's talk about you know, the risk and the reward first, because uh, there are like three different, different options. Option number one, you can play really safe. Like you can have a product, which is a you know, product, product image, which is perfectly Amazon compliant, purely on white background, but the problem with that image that it does not give you the competitive edge, okay? Because everybody else is doing the exact same thing. And the other thing that you could do, you could also like, you know, maybe do a little bit risky, you know, you can maybe add some graphics here and there, uh, but that can get your Amazon listing, you know, uh, suppressed due to the non-compliance. So you don't want to do that. So you want to stay in the middle where you are, doing more than just basic and less than which can get you suspended. That's what these strategies are all about. Okay. And I highly recommend having at least one Amazon compliant image, which can, you can always go back. Okay. But I have never seen any listing getting suppressed just because of these strategies. Okay. And, um, the first strategy, you know, let's get started. So the first strategy, Marco, that I have is called label it strategy. And what is that? It's like adding a label of your unique selling proposition in the product packaging, even if that, you know, unique selling proposition does not exist on the actual packaging. Uh, and what do I mean by that? You know, if you search on Amazon, like a whey protein powder, so you will see lots of Amazon listing and there are lots of sellers, you know, um, which are using this strategy. And let's say you have a protein powder, right? And the packaging, when you designed it, you know, the only thing that can, that you can show in the in the main image is the product bag. You can't really show the powder itself. You know, you can't really show the protein powder itself. So the, all you have to showcase is the uh, product packaging. So what you can do, you can create a label in such a way so that it looks like it's part of the product packaging, okay? So uh, let's say you're selling a whey protein powder and what's your unique selling proposition? Maybe 25 grams of protein or chocolate flavor or vanilla flavor or it's unflavored, whichever. So try to make that label stand out on your product packaging so that when people are scrolling through the search results, they can instantly see what your unique selling proposition is. And when they're gonna receive the product, they're not going to complain about it because in the end, you're not lying. You're still giving the genuine information, which is like, yeah, it has the 25 grams of protein and it is the flavor that they were expecting. So it just gives you an extra competitive advantage. And uh, and if you're in the process of, let's say, designing a product packaging, design in such a way so that it gives you a competitive advantage. You may have seen, if you search on Amazon RX bar, like breakfast bar, you will come up with a brand. It's called RX bar. And on their packaging, it says three egg whites, you know, six almonds, you know, four cashews, two dates. It tells you on the product packaging itself what that product is. So they don't really need to go inside, um, you know, the bullet points and the product description to find out what exactly you're doing. So let the label it strategy and your product packaging do the job, okay? And some of you 
might be like, um, but come on, my product does not come in product packaging. It's just a, it's just a brown box, or it's just like a, it comes in an envelope. So for those type of products, you know, if you search for a cutting board and there's a brand called Gorilla Grip, they are the masters of the strategy. And what they have done, they have added a label on the cutting boards itself telling it's like extra large, you know, cutting boards. And they have also advertised their other variations, uh, you know, on the on the label itself. So that is something that you guys can do. And, you know, some of the top brands in this space, like Dude Wipes, that's one of the top emerging brands in the United States. They are using the exact same strategy. Even the Thrasio brand, you know, and, um, you know, Angry Orange, you know, uh, that brand is using the exact same strategy. If you search for, uh, you know, order eliminator, you're going to see they, you know, them using this strategy. So this is a really powerful one. And a lot of the big brands are already, you know, using this strategy to get the extra click through rate. And I highly recommend you start doing that before it gets too common. Nice. So, yes. So yeah. I love that. Strategy. I love, yeah, I, I really second that uh, strategy because uh, um, and I, I highly suggest people to actually uh, have that mindset when they create the, the, the when they design the packaging, uh, make the, the packaging design uh, so they can actually include it in the actual packaging or sometimes, yeah, uh, if it's not possible, they can make it as a, as a design. But in the main image, it will look like it is part of the design. So this is a very smart uh, approach. And uh, many times, for example, I've been uh, doing the, I've been adding the uh, the main keyword, like in very bold letters on the package. It, that's the actual design design of the packaging. It has, you know, the the main keyword in the, on the on the packaging. So um, you, you see, I think. Uh, if you're if you're going to grow, you know, into like an omni-channel brand, I think um, you should always consider having like one one packaging for online sales because uh, you will need to show, you know, the main image uh, with you know this bold letters and the keywords, and and another another packaging for, for example, retail, right? Because uh, uh, that strategy will not work as well in, in retail where people are, can actually you know see the product and and you know uh, read everything so yeah that's that's uh, that's also one suggestion but I, I love that strategy thank you cool cool so 100 percent. so so the second strategy that i have is, is is called a two second rule so if you create a main image go to your fellow you know, maybe Amazon sellers in, in your group, or maybe ask your friends or or family that, hey, can you tell what this product is and what exactly I'm selling? And if they could tell within the two seconds what exactly the product is, that means it's a good image. Okay, a lot of the time, you know, when you're selling like bundles, when you're selling like, you know, extra accessories or when you're giving bonuses, you know, the images can get confusing, right? When you're showing product in action, sometimes, you know, the images can get confusing. Um, uh, you know, I'll give you an example, you know, we were uh, we were selling it. At, so this, this was a product, it, 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 it's kind of a, a ring toss game. So, you know, what you what you had to do, you know, there were two players need to play. You know, one player would you know just throw it if 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 it hooks into the ring, you know, you move the uh, stick and whichever gets you know three times in a row, that person wins. So it's kind of a little bit complicated. So so we made one image and uh, and like we asked you know our team members, our client, and our you know uh, other sellers and they were like no no this this fails you know it took them like five to ten seconds to figure out what exactly the product is then we ended up recreating that Im image you know it got somehow somewhat clear and then we created a third image you know it, it got like even better so as soon as that image passes the two second rule that's when you know that this is a good image so if you already have an existing main image do the two second rule test. And if you are creating a new one, you still need to do that. And I will send you, uh, Marco, I'll send you this PDF. I think this is the strategy. This is the 14th one that we created, I think two weeks ago. So I'll send that to you. If that's not in the PDF, you know, feel free to uh, uh, look at that one as well. And the next one I have is using a model strategy. So, so one of the um, 
products, it's called a push-up machine. When you search on keyword, you know, if so when this product became really popular, the push-up machine was not even a thing, right? So, so if we only had the product as a main image, so what we ended up doing, we ended up doing product and we were showing a model using that product, uh, you know, on the side. So everything was pure white background, but people were immediately, you know, they were able to tell because now it's being used by the model. They could say, they could tell that this is a push-up machine. So using the model could also be, you know, really, really helpful for your main image uh, strategy. And uh, you can also use this for like simpler products. Let's say, you know, for a comb or anything because models can be used and showing product in use is not against terms of service, okay? And uh, let's say if your product comes in variations, right? And let's say you're selling a water bottle. And what used to work in the past, and people, let's say you're selling a blue water bottle, and they would add graphics of different colors which were available uh, as variations. But Amazon started to you know crack down, and they were like suppressing those listings. And those things do not work anymore. But what works now is instead of showing those graphics or icons as a color, you can show the variation product, but much smaller so that they could see that, okay, these are the color variations which are available, right? And many people, they ask me, they're like, oh, people may get confused. They might think that we're selling three pack, but not, you know, on, they're not variations. So the key here is to make the other variations so small so that it tells them that, you know, it's just, it's just like human brain works. They know that this is an additional color and they can also justify with the price that they're selling. And the cool thing about using this strategy is because when you're indexing on Amazon, there's only one listing which is going to get ranked, right? So, and all other variations, they will not be. So only one variation gets ranked and you don't know which one it is, but whichever gets ranked. And if you have like other colors in the, in the main image as well as a smaller uh, picture, uh, it could do like, you know, lots of the cross-selling cross and increase your click-through rate because now buyers know that you have more colors available and they want to look at your listing and see those colors. So that's also one of the strategy that uh, that we use for, uh, you know, for variations. And the next strategy that I have, Marco, is I call it a Kaizen strategy. So this is what we developed like two years ago and mainly for the bigger brands. You know, we were working with, uh, you know, a brand doing over, I think, 30 million every single year on Amazon. And their listings were like already optimized. They were doing like so good. And like they came to us, they were like, what can we improve on? You know, what? There's like literally everything, you know, the, everything that they had done was phenomenal. They invested so much into their creatives. And so that's how, you know, that's when we created this strategy. And I think this is one of my favorite ones. So let's say you have an image on Amazon and it's purely white background. And it, you're, let's say it's a portable monitor. Okay. So can this image be improved? And the answer is always yes. And maybe you add a wallpaper. Uh, to the same monitor. So now everyone else is showing, you know, just the product. And now you have the product with a wallpaper on it, like a graphic, uh, which is not against the Amazon terms, terms of service, because that wallpaper is on the screen itself, like on the monitor screen. It's not like on the white space. So yeah, so your main image stands out. And two months down the road, everybody else would have the exact same image because uh, because now they know that you're winning. But you ask yourself the same question once again, like, can that image be improved? The answer is yes. What you can do, you can add maybe the unique selling points on the screen. You can write some text like, hey, it's like 16 inches uh, wide screen. It's like at full HD or it's like portable or you can, there's a bunch of things that you can write on the screen itself that gives you an advantage, right? So again, you know, two months down the road, everybody else would have the exact same uh, exact same image. What do you do then? You still improve that. Maybe, you know, ask yourself one, you know, this question once again, like, can this image be improved? The answer is yes. Maybe you could add maybe uh, uh, 3D animation on within the screen itself because it's in the screen. You can, you can do whatever you want. And uh, like, you know, what we did, we ended up doing, you know, a Hulk image, which was like, you know, coming out from, it looked like it's coming out of the screen, gave that 3D effect. And, you know, and it, 
takes them your competitors like you know two months to figure out like how far you have gone but if you're continuously improving your main image you never lose the game and the other sellers they're trying to catch up with you so that's like one of my favorite image and it, if you look at the pdf this will make a lot more sense visually right so that is one of my uh, that's one of these strategies uh, any any questions um, marco like definitely what? yeah I, I love that that uh, approach uh, it's uh, and you know something that uh, really kind of uh, strike with me is that uh, you mentioned this like 30 million dollar seller that is was still you know uh, trying to improve their images and i think this is kind of the mindset that we should give people you know even if a listing is going well uh, you see even like a, a multiple eight figure seller is still trying to improve and improve and improve so that's why that seller is that brand it's a 30 million dollar one because they are uh, keep improving everything or uh, and trying you know to to stand out from the competition because as you said you know if you're an innovator uh, most people will, will start copying you after a few months but if you keep you know innovating uh, you know you will always be on top so that's uh that's uh my takeaway from from this yeah that's really interesting 100% uh, you know whenever seller you know they reach the seven figure mark they think that they have achieved everything you know uh then they they feel like you know they whatever they're doing is 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 the right thing they understand everything but but the difference between seven figure and eight figure sellers is that the eight figure sellers are open to pretty much everything you know they're they're open to feedback you know they're like okay let's try this try that but totally agree with you um marco and moving on uh the next strategy how we developed that it's it's called you know showing the close-up shots and what we did we we at that time we had three different design teams and we did a competition you know within our team that like whoever creates you know better main image you know will will be awarded with something and we did a pick foo poll in the end and this was this product was um it's kind of a soft chair like you know it has some it, it had a very soft cushion and it was kind of a small coffee table um so one team what they did was you know they created a main image just the product and the table itself from the from and from an angle that looked really really good and the second team ended up showing you know product itself and also the product packaging uh in the in, in the main image and the, what the third team did they showed like the product packaging they also showed the product but what they did you know something that was like a little bit unique they zoomed into the product so much it looked like the product is so close to the uh the image she showed the closer shot and nobody liked that image they were like oh it's so confusing you know it just doesn't make sense to me and even we didn't like it um you know we thought uh, the client wouldn't like it we showed it to client client did not like it either you know we loved option number b uh, because it had the gifting element and everything client really loved the option number a but everybody ignored the option number c and when we did a pick foo poll option c won significantly like you know it had the most you know amount of votes and when we read the comments and people wanted people everybody said that they had a closer look to the product and they are more likely to buy that because that was like so close because that's where they're going to sit on it and they're looking at the cushion and how soft that is so that was the decision making factor that we were not considering but the people who are going to make the purchase by you know taking out their credit card and buying that product they think differently so so that's where you know we kind of understood that okay wow you know showing the close-up angles could work and we've been using that strategy and every time we do a big foot poll it's like one of either the number one option or the number two option if we're doing like multiple um, images on on a split testing and that leads me to you know uh, the next strategy which is like the showing multiple angles okay so what what do i mean by that uh, so some products they are designed in such a way that doing it justice just by showing the front side or one side won't really do the justice to that product for example let's say you're selling a wall plug you know power adapter or something so one side goes into the power outlet and the other side has something to it you know so you want to show the both sides let's say if it's a travel friendly outlet or something like that so you want to show the both sides or let's say if you have a foldable pizza you know uh 
peel or something like that. You want to show that that it's foldable and you also want to show the regular one in the main image. So like, like a wallet, there's so many other things. For example, you're selling a wallet. You, you might as well want to show the wallet closed and also the wallet open, like what goes inside, like if you're selling a men's wallet, right? Some of those products where showing multiple angles could go the long way and helps uh, the buyers, you know, make better decision because you don't want, you know, irrelevant traffic on your listing. Because if you drive irrelevant traffic to your listing, it's going to hurt your conversion rate, which means you're you're going to lose rankings on Amazon, right? Because Amazon prefers listings which has higher conversion rate on that keyword and Amazon gives a push to those uh, those listings. Amazon do not want to, you know, like, you know, uh, give push to a least, you know, less converging listings. And that, you know, uh, th this reminds me of one example, you know, I was in Lisbon uh, giving, a, giving a talk about, you know, main images and there was a seller, you know, he came up to me, he's like, hey, Kamal, um, I want to increase my click through rate. My traffic is like really, really low. No matter how much I spend, I get impressions, but I don't get, you know, the, the clicks that I want to. I'm like, okay, no problem. And we, we saw the image and we saw the product and the product was a lady's dress. And, uh, you know, he was only showing the front side of the dress, right? And what we did, I'm like, okay, uh, you know what? Uh, I think his name was Adam. So I'm like, hey, Adam, uh, let's do this, you know, go back to your graphic designer and do a main image where, where you are showing the front side of the dress and the back side of the dress as well. So he ended up, you know, getting that same image, you know, done overnight and, you know, he uploaded it, you know, right away. And two days later, you know, he just, he just calls me. He's like, hey, Kamal, I'm like, hey, what's up? You know, he's like, my traffic went down. I'm like, oh, that's okay. Go back to your previous image, you know, that's not a problem. He's like, but I don't want to go back to my previous image, but my because my conversion rate went up and I'm making more sales. I'm like, oh, wow. So now the main image was filtering the traffic that be before people were clicking on the listing and after looking the backside of the dress, they were not buying it. Now people can see front and back and the only people who were like interested or they would like the product would click on that and they would buy it. So he was making more sales and which ended up, you know, increasing his ranking as well. So showing multiple angles, you know, could also go the long way. And uh, next strategy is called ad colors. And what do, what do I mean by that? You know, many products, you know, let's say if you're selling a transparent product or or if you're selling, you know, uh, uh, spray bottles or something, uh, plastic bottles, which do not have any color to it. They're like transparent. And how do you make those images stand out? Maybe, you know, uh, let's say if you're selling like spray bottles, uh, you could maybe add some colorful liquid to it, which stands out. If someone else is using a different color, use a different color so that your color stands out more. And let's say if you're selling like, you know, uh, food containers which are transparent add a colorful food in it so that, you know, the image has some color and depth to it. So adding a colors could go a long way. And one of the basic ones, I see that a lot of sellers, they are making mistakes on this one. If you have a product that comes in a gift box or a gift packaging, show your gift, you know, show your packaging in the main image itself. And because that's going to add the perceived value, increase the perceived value of your product. And also your it's going to make your main image stand out. And if you combine that with the label it strategy that, that I mentioned in the beginning, that's a killer image. It wins every single time. Okay. And we have done some pick for polls as well. You know, we have tested it over and over again. If you have the product packaging, which is good, use that. But I have seen so many times that the sellers I have seen like brown boxes on the main image as well, which is which, which you shouldn't be doing. Only show product packaging if it's good. And uh, yeah, so because that increases the perceived value. And moving on, uh, you may have seen lots of products on Amazon, like lots of keywords where either everyone is doing is everyone is doing 3d rendering or no one is doing 3d rendering so if no one is doing 3d rendering then that is an opportunity for you to do the 3d renders of your main image and make it stand out this is much sharper much visually appealing and uh, you know and you get like 360 access to your product you know there's multiple feature benefits and 3d rendering works great for 
if you have a hard surface product, if you have a transparent product, or if you have uh, any shiny or highly reflective product, 3D rendering is a great option that could make your main image stand out. And if you don't know what 3D rendering is, it's an it's the process of creating your uh, you know, product picture virtually in a software and then rendering it from them. So you don't even need a physical product. Uh, so you it solves lots of logistic issues as well. So that is one strategy. Um, the next one I have for you guys is, you know, if you're selling like product with multiple accessories or multiple products, show lay them out nicely. Okay, what used to work in the past was, you know, let's say you're selling a shaming machine, right? Uh, like trimmer, let's say you're selling tr a trimmer. It comes with like, you know, different sizes of, you know, uh, beard trimmers. It comes with, you know, maybe nose, no, no, nose hair trimmer, like charger, a bunch of other stuff, maybe manual. So you want to lay them out nicely so that it looks professional. Don't just take it in one image, take multiple image, crop them, do a nice layout, retouch and edit each of those main images so that it looks much better. Okay, so that is something that you guys can do for if you're if you're selling like you know multiple accessories or multiple packs. And the next uh, and the last strategy that I have for you guys is showing the product in action. Okay, uh, what do I mean by that? Let me give you an example. Uh, let's say you're selling, you know, there's a product called phone telescope. What that does, it adds a really good zooming effect to your cell phone, okay? So if you take that image of that product without the phone itself, no one can tell what that product is. But when you add a cell phone to that product, it makes perfect sense what that product is made for. The other one is, you know, when the COVID started, you know, everyone, you know, people were buying like monitor lights or laptop lights. And um, let's say that, light has like different temperatures, like, you know, warm temperature, you know, the other temperatures, which kind of increases or decreases the brightness of the light. Um, but how do you show that in the main image? Maybe show all three, right? Um, uh, it, it, so, sorry, it was a light and like, how can you, uh, and when we looked at the main image, like, it was really, really difficult to tell like what exactly the product is and why there are so many lights. And when we put that on the monitor itself, when we added the monitor or a laptop in the main image, we could instantly, instantly tell that this is the product is. So it passes the two second rule and showing your product in action, you know, could go a long way. So these are the 14 strategies that I have for you guys. And you know, happy to take any questions. Uh, wow, wow yeah thank you kamal <laughs> that that was like uh you know half an hour packed of uh great strategies you know i, I love uh, all of them and actually i just got several ideas for my products on how to improve my product so definitely something uh worth uh investing and checking uh, guys remember to download the pdf where you will see for each of these strategy you will see uh, uh, some examples so uh, even even they're like even good examples and bad examples. So uh, you, you will see kind of the comparison of like what you should not do and what you should do. Okay, so there are like fourteen strategies. Like really, really, uh, you you will you definitely find uh, something that will work for your product because uh, Kamal and his team definitely put a lot of effort uh, into uh, crafting these strategies that you know uh, are. Um, can, can can fit you know most products in, in different categories so i think we you know because we covered so much i don't want to you know uh drag this further too long because uh you know respect respecting people time and uh so i i i'd like you guys to you know uh download this pdf uh, on uh, on our website sellerprocess.com or in the youtube description uh, you will find the link where you can download it. I highly encourage you to do that uh, to kind of um, uh, really, really understand, you know, what the strategy that we've been talking about. And um, if people need your help, Kamal, uh, or would like, you know, to, to uh, get advice or, um, you know, actually creating the designs or this kind of uh, images, uh, how can you help them and how can they reach out to you? 
Yeah, you can go to www.amz1onestep.com or you can also reach us, you know, reach us out at info at amz1step.com and we'll be very happy to help you out. And you can also follow us on social media. Uh, our handles are amz1step. Awesome, awesome. amz1step, really highly, highly appreciate your time, uh, Kamal. Uh, we'll, we'll maybe, you know... <laughs> have another conversation you know in some months about some something else on how to improve the listings uh thank you again for for sharing your your knowledge thank you so much for having me super excited yeah so guys uh remember the key to success is to emulate the best so take home you know the insights that you got from kamal today and implement them in your business or contact him if you would like his help i hope you enjoyed this week episode uh, i wish you a productive week and i'll see you in the next one bye hey entrepreneurs i hope you enjoyed the episode and learned something from the interview if you're serious about creating systems for your business automating processes and building up your team so that you can transfer the tedious daily tasks in order to focus on more high level strategic tasks and work on your business and not in your business I've created a guide for Amazon sellers named Capturing Systems and Creating SOPs that you can find at thesellerprocess.com slash systems ebook, where you will learn how to leverage systems and SOPs in your Amazon business so that you can accomplish more by working less, optimize your time, automate and delegate tasks, and reap the benefits of being a true business owner and not simply an operator in your own business. Go download the ebook at thesellerprocess.com slash systems ebook and start implementing all the tips and insights that I share with you. And leave us a review or a comment to let us know how, how the content we are sharing here is making an impact in your business. And have a productive week.